So I've already done these, remember. These get done during the removal. It's there. And now we've got to do these two. Aha. Cheater. That there, that there. Whoa. Uh, anyway. There, that one. Alright. Now I've got to take these off. These are what synchronize it together. Come on. And here's idle speed. Now over here, we have the choke. See, over here is the actual choke lever. If you see, watch this, this cam right here. Moves this lever, which operates the throttle. So when you put the choke on, it gives it a high idle. Then back down to your idle screw right there. I've got to grab this. This pin is not really in there, right? There we go. Let's see if I take that off of there. Look at that. If I take this one off of there. Well, it's pretty interesting here. I think I gotta take this hose off. I believe, I mean, this is a uh, accelerator pump. You can see it moving this rod right here, going down into the bowl. Look, see, this one has a little pump, a little pump housing. It's like a little diaphragm pump. So you hit the throttle, boom, it goes up, pump some fuel into that one cylinder, it stops there, and you can see this spring just collapses. Pretty cool. Do next is connect this bar. Now, unfortunately, I can't just undo it from here because it's going to hit this, even if I try to pull it out there. Now, I don't want to pull it all apart from there. so. What I need to do is undo it here, undo it here, and this little whole assembly comes off, and then I can spin it around and undo it there and separate it all. Okay, good. See that? Undo that. This washer. So if I bring that around, washer, see, there. And I gotta take these out. Now they say to match, make sure you don't mix them up. So that one is here and this one is here. And this is, you know, that way's forward. Time to separate the two halves so that we can get in there and take, separate the carburetors from that as well. Here we have the choke bracket. Let's take this one out. Okay. All right. Oops. Okay. That doesn't look right. That looks right, but that one doesn't. Look at the way it comes out and it's hitting over here. Nice. Now that I've got to try to repair. That is incorrect.
lengthen this a little bit so it's not no whoops last one guess that was holding it together oh look at that dowels okay here are the right two carburetors number one number three now we gotta separate them for the house from the housing okay you gotta be careful separating the one and bend those two fuel line see that little spring that goes in between that little throttle linkage. Well, here we have number one and number three. It's upside down. Number three is different from the other three because it has an accelerator pump see this doesn't have it here we have carb number three right rear this is the one with the accelerator pump so right now we're on pretty much idle or it wouldn't even run it that it's closed but once you start bringing throttle See how being throttle, it moves that lever up. See how it's moving that? Here's the accelerator pump right here. It's only very little. Bring it up even closer. See, that's it. The rest of the movement is just taken up like that by that spring. So, very little. Amazing. Carburetor number three. See, there's my marking. Number three. This one has the accelerator pump. To get this float chamber off of here, I've got to take the... Well, no, I probably don't. It'll probably come along with that. And that push rod will just come along right with it. But I want to take it apart here while it's all easy to hold on to. All right. Take that, that, and that. Okay. Wow. It's got a hell of a spring. A little dirty in there. Okay, we got our spring. Okay, there's the diaphragm. Okay, let's see if I can just persuade this up. Don't want to unstick. at that all right so it looks like it gets fuel from the bowl and when it pushes it pushes it up through there and into right here cool all right let's see well looking at this this looks like a supply of fuel from the bowl and this is a jet coming up into the intake. So there's gotta be some one-way valve located. So, but anywho, that'll all get cleaned up. 
Next, I can take this off. One, two, three. Nose three. Okay. Ew. Well, you see what needs to be done there. It all seems to be working properly. Now, I don't know how well that floats. Okay, let's see. All right, I gotta get this float out of the way. Okay, float pin. Like that? Whoops. There we go. Ha ha ha. That's the ticket. Anywho. Okay. Got to take all this apart now. Will this fit in there? Yeah, wow. Cool. All right. I'm not sure you can see through that. That'd be, where is it all there? Seven mil. Ten mil. fuel filter. Uh-oh. How does this go back together? Now, yeah, I gotta pull that out. So, let's, we gotta see how far out it is. So let's count, let's screw this thing in. Half. One. Half. Two. So that is open too. Okay. All right, there's the spring. Really? The next step is to pull this off of here. loaded okay don't want this flying there we go
So I believe that is everything to come apart that I'm going to take apart. Nothing more in there. Like I said, I'm going to leave this alone. Nothing more to take there. All right. This can go for a bath in the ultrasonic cleaner. Okay. Time to take the slide apart. This thing reach all the way in there, I guess it will. There we go. So the kit is also going to come with. Well, come with these needles, needle jets. Now it's time to put these guys together. I'm going to install the air cutoff valve. Here's the diaphragm. It's all checked. I see no issues with it. Let's put that in place. Here is the O-ring seal. There is a flat side and a round side. Flat side goes towards the carburetor. We've got our spring. Now we have our cap all cleaned out. Everything's flowing. Squeeze that down. Now, let's get this guy on there. Tighten this one. Yep, that's torque to specs. That's torqued to specs. Air cutoff valve is now installed. Here's the needle jet, the needle jet holder, and the main jet. We're going to install those now. Uh, that goes into this slot right here. Put that down. See, so it'll come out there. All right. Snuggle that down. All right. There we go. Now for the main jet. Okay, so now uh, needle jet, needle jet holder, main jet are installed. Now time to put this jewel in. And it goes in this one here. There it is. It's time to put the float system in. Here's the filter valve seat and the seal let's go ahead and get that on there that is 10 mil okay now flip this over oops can't forget the pin Now I've, time, now I've got to hang. Ah, oh, there it is. <laughs> now I've got to hang this float valve. So it drops into the seat.
There we go. Probably needs adjusting. set the float level, this is what I did. I set these calipers to 15.5 millimeter. Now what I do is I make sure that the main valve is seated. I push down, but then I let the little center stem spring it back. There, now I just have the weight of the float on, on the um, pin. See, there's 15.5 millimeter. 15.5 millimeter. That float is set. Going to install the new gasket on the float bowl. So let's get it around, generally speaking. Yeah, there we go. Now we want to make sure that it's up under these. These help hold it into place up under there All right, come on get in there that looks good now seeing as how this one is number three which has the accelerator pump I need to put this little boot on before I put that bowl in this is for the accelerator pump shaft to come through and it seals it there we go look at that ain't that pretty okay oh. go ahead and place that down there oh I need a one of those these there it is so I've got my o-ring seal there this one you know this is one part of one half of the accelerator pump this is the other half this one is sealed by that one there, because that's where that sits. So both of those are sealed. These are screw holes. Whoops. Get up under there. Okay, so there we go. One and a two and a three. When disassembling, I do use the impact driver to pull screws out, but when assembling, I'd rather do it by hand. Get them just tight enough and it just goes by feel. Going to install the accelerator pump. Remember the boot there so we've got to be careful when we put this through make sure it goes through the opening in the boot we don't want to stretch it too much so we hold it now let's get this lined up okay we've got to be careful with this because it's actually trying to hit it but what we need to do now is put that spring. See the two, those go on those two. Just wanna make sure everything's all on in place. Get these screws started. And number three. See, this is the important one. I've got to make sure that these two seal. 
So we're gonna go down straight now, a little bit there. Move it around a bit, make sure they pop down into their cutouts. Okay. See, that's all it does right there. Boom, boom, boom. Throttle, oh, and then the rest of the way is just... Here we have the vacuum chamber, the spring, the stopper plug, the needle set screw, We've got the jet needle, the vacuum piston, and the seal ring. First, we have to assemble the vacuum piston. So we have to put the needle in there. Now we put the set screw. Now we've got to change the screwdriver over the flathead. Now we've got to screw that down in there. Go, not too tight. Now we gotta put the stopper plug. Ah, there we go, nice. The spring. Now what we actually need to do is put this guy in there, because that's what this thing follows to keep it lined up. So let's put that in there. Of course, we gotta change our screwdriver back to Filbert. Go ahead and snuggle that down into place. Now we can actually put the, this, uh, the ring in. Now the ring is uh, flat on one side. Well, it's off, so you see that. So the flat goes, the bigger goes out down to there. Now, Gotta look straight so that you get the needle down into its uh, needle seat, needle jet. Now this is, we want to put the cap this way. The spring goes into there. There we go. Leftovers. Okay. Let's see if that guy moves. Oh yeah, quite nicely. Accelerator pump works. Well, externally it works. Here's number two, here's number four. They've gotta be uh, married together before they can go on to that in, intake manif well, intake box. So now one of these slides in easier. See that one doesn't slide in very well. And that one does. See if I turn it around. See, so it's really this washer, very temperamental. See if I that one. So it actually, this one works better this way. So let me put this one in here. There we go. That is correct. This one doesn't matter as much. See, look, that pops in. And now I need to make sure that has to stay nice and straight because that one is. So now let's bring them closer together. Same with that linkage back there. Now this linkage up here. <clears throat> there we go. Let's see. 
All right. So that linkage is good. And this is actually the choke. Nope. That's what you think. No. Ugh. Here's the choke. That tube turns and that tube. Okay. Spin it back around. Now I've got to put these seals. And now this. Yep, those dowels all lined up. Okay, one more thing. That is this spring. It needs to go in there. There we go. Okay, that throttle's working good. Okay, tubes are in. Right. Got a pair of the other two up now. I'm gonna attempt to put these two together. Position those, the um, tubes and the choke. So the choke's lined up and the tubes are pretty much lined up. Gotta try to get this. So let's just slowly bring them together. There we go. Yeah, the tubes are close. And I gotta try to get Come on. Okay, this is a pain. All right. Okay. Hard part is those tubes with fresh gaskets. They're a real pain. So when you replace those O-rings, you gotta really work on it. Getting that to get back together. But it looks like I did. Take this jewel and one of these and one of those. Get that lines up. All right. All right. One, two. All right. All right. I gotta put this spring in there. There we go. I'm assuming that goes there.
Cool. So here are the two halves. One, three, two, four. Linkage and all that. Everything's all tightened up. Gasket is back on. So now, in theory, I can marry these two up. There we go. Now the question is, okay, let's see, too short. So that looks like this guy here. I mean, it looks like the same thing here. Yep. Got a squeaky chair now. Or stool, actually. All right, snuggle. Snuggle. Now, I'm gonna flip it over. And a short one here. Short one here. Rah. Those were for you, the D. I do believe there's one more. Let's see, one goes right there from there. But all right. Now it's all screwed together. Ready for the next step.